Thank you, Lord. Well, let's have let's have the first, first time, time visitors visitor stand. First time visitors stand up, and we'll just do the best we can. Okay. If nothing else, you're going to extend a hand toward them and bless them. Thank Father, you. we just bless these people that. They're on a journey and an adventure, and they are bold and brave to enter the doors of this congregation. They are exceedingly full of grace and power to even attend here. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to prophesy over Chris right now. Yeah, Father, also, if you're first-time visitor, stay and standing. Way, and by the way, here's something that you, you learn in the spirit, because this will work for people watching by Ustream as well. If you have, and today we're going to talk about attitude. If you have a good attitude towards your brothers and sisters, and I prophesy to Chris over here, that word could go to you if your heart's right. If you go, how come they're getting a word and I'm not getting a word, you're going to get nothing. All right? <laughs> that attitude will determine your performance in the spirit. So open your heart and say, maybe what he's saying to Chris might apply to me. Could happen. He could go like, Pew! Like this. So, Father, I just hear the, uh, the Spirit of the Lord say to Chris that uh, you've been faithful and loyal, and you've been diligent in the things of God, and you've done, you've been kind of like a jack of all trades, but God says, I'm going to fine tune your gift mix in the days ahead, and you're going to begin to emphasize those things that are significant and those things that are more important in the kingdom. It's not that the other things are not, it's just that I'm going to cause you to uh, get a focus now for the days ahead. You're going to be very necessary. Necessary. Wendy, stand back up. I want Wendy. I'm going to get Wendy now. <laughs> Wendy, I just hear the Lord saying that He says, You too have, have been kind of a, 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 oh, in the times past, kind of a loose cannon. But God says, Oh, daughter, I've been drawing you with cords of love, and I've been doing things behind the scenes that you're not aware of because He says, I've been orchestrating behind the scenes, and you are going to be pleasantly surprised with suddenlies. There are suddenlies that are coming into your life that are going to, you're, just, you're going to be going almost like almost like in heaven when there's another revelation of God it's holy 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 you're just going to keep going holy and each one is going to be different because of a pleasant surprise that's coming your way and the woman standing in the, the back corner there I'm hearing the Lord say that there have been some trials there have been some discouragements there have been some uh, disappointed hopes but the Lord says you release them all to me because God says he's going to resurrect those things in your life and bring even more. So the Lord says rejoice. I just have a word for Claudia. I know Chris is your husband, right? Okay, the word of the Lord is, is that you've been, you've been like a, a bookend to him that he can lean on you and you can lean on him. And God says, I made it that way because together you're going to, two or more are gathered together. I am in the midst and I am going to have a unique expression to the two of you as soon as I fine tune him on just getting down to the basics and just doing the things that are the most qualified and no more jack of all trades, but get fine tuned. Then you're going to flow together the way God intended originally. And your first name? Betsy, Betsy, I just hear the Lord saying that you're an adventurer at heart and, and, and you, you search out matters uh, and there may be a reasoning mind that gets in the way sometimes, but God says, I'll deal with that. You open up your heart to me and you learn to live more by the gut and I'm going to give you uh, as well, uh, very similar. There's going to be pleasant surprises that are coming, but it's going to be as you follow the leading of the heart not so much the reasoning mind. And there's even going to be uh, relationships that uh, are, are going to come alongside of you and encourage you and be there for you. And in times past, they may have been in your life, but you basically paid them no attention. But God says they were instrumental, and I'm going to uh, bring you back. And I, I see him working a circle in you. It's kind of like a Gilgal. It's a, it's a circle. And you want to you look that up uh, in, in the story of the... Uh, of the prophets. But Gilgal is there's a place where I'm circumcising something in your heart in a, in a circular fashion, but I'm going to bring you around full circle to some things and you're going to respond totally different and it's going to, it's going to be a blessing beyond your wildest imagination. For the couple right there, I'm hearing the Lord that there have been some pressures in your life. There have been some things going on. The Lord just wants you to know he's going to lift some of the pressure off and he's going to bring relief to you guys. So the Lord says there are good days ahead. Amen. Amen. And the two 
women right there in the print tops in, in this section, I'm hearing the Lord say that God is going to resurrect some things that you've died to, that you've given up, and the Lord says that he's going to give new life, and, and he's going to give new expression to those things. So the Lord says, keep open, keep open open-minded keep open-hearted the lord says because what he brings to you he may not bring in a package that you expect mm -hmm. so the lord says die to your opinions and stay open and the the this, lady hmm? go ahead go ahead and right there i hear the lord say that um you may not have been the adventurous type in the past but the Lord says he's going to take you some, on some adventures. There have been there will be some um, adventures in the natural, but the Lord says there are going to be some adventures in the spirit. And the Lord says he's bringing fresh revelation to you that he is going to open your understanding of the scriptures in a brand new way. And you're going to say to the Lord, how could I have not known this? And the Lord says, because it only comes by revelation, daughter. So the Lord says, I've got some good things for you in the spirit, in the spirit, in the spirit, mother of God, mother in Israel. The Lord says you are a spiritual mother, and the Lord says he's going to bring spiritual daughters into your life, and he's going to bring some that have left you, and he's going to bring you, he's going to bring them back to you. Amen. And I've got a word for everyone that stood up, everyone that's the first time. Stand back up, even if you got a prophetic word. I've got a word. This is going to be an opportunity for you to die to your interpretations of some of your dreams and visions and let God resurrect those dreams and vision and let Him explain it to you. One of the biggest downfall of prophetic people is you got in the way of a legitimate dream, a legitimate vision, and you did a premature interpretation according to the reasoning mind. What have you got to lose? Say, all right, Lord, I release it back to you because I'm sowing into the heavenlies that it will come back the way you would send it and the way you do it. So I'm opening my heart. I'm canceling out some of my interpretations, but I'm holding fast to those things which you have spoken in times past. Reveal it to me, my dreams and my visions, the way I see fit. That could be good for everybody if your heart's right. Let's go mm -hmm. for it. We can do some short ones for everybody. All right, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're, we're just cutting my sermon shorter, that's all. <laughs> Okay, I hear for the, the for the lady in the green back there, I hear the Lord say that he is going to put a holy boldness in you. The Lord says he's going to put a word in your mouth and he's going to give you a holy boldness. And that word that the Lord puts in your mouth, the Lord it says it's going to cut through things where people have been held in bondage. The Lord says that people are going to be set free because what you speak, says the Spirit of God. And the, the woman in front of her in, is that navy blue with the, with the zippers. I hear the Lord say that he's got some new things for you. And I'm seeing something with children and grandchildren going on, that, um, that the Lord is going to bring a deepening of relationship and a closeness. And the Lord says where there have been um, some times where you haven't seen eye to eye, the Lord says, I'm going to clear that up, daughter. I'm going to bring reconciliation and with even others that have drifted away. So the Lord says, this is a time where those who have drifted away, the Lord says, I am going to draw back into your life. The Lord says, and it's going to bring a time of rejoicing for you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, the lady standing in the front with the, the print top. I hear the Lord say that um, there have been some things that the Lord is working on with you and some things that have even been troubling with you. And the Lord says that he is going to, some of the things the Lord says, some of these are, those things are just going to fall by the wayside. But the Lord says he is also going to deal with your heart so that you can release some things maybe that you've been holding on to a little too tight so that you can release into the hands of God and you are going to see God move on your behalf as soon as you do that, says the Lord. And Sharon, I hear for you that, um, that God has just reconnected a new relationship. And the Lord says fruit is going to come from that abundant fruit, daughter, like you cannot even imagine at this time. This is not just bringing back with somebody you knew in the past. This is going to mean the launching of something brand new in your life, says the Spirit of God. And the couple standing right I here. I, 
Sharon, there's one more word. Oh. The scripture that comes to mind, I think it's Matthew 13, 52, where it says uh, those that have been trained in the Holy Scriptures uh, basically can take things from the treasure house that are both old and new, the fresh as well as the familiar. And I agree with what uh, Jennifer was saying, that basically this is a time for the new as well, that the old remains intact, but there is a new that's coming forth, a new anointing, new relationship, just new, new, new. Okay. And for the couple right here, y'all are y'all local or know you're from someplace else? Well, I hear the <laughs> Lord say, I hear, I hear the Lord say that he's going to do some changing and rearranging in your lives. And the Lord says, get ready for the unexpected. The Lord says, stay flexible. Go with me. You can follow the peace, says the Spirit of God. And you will end up exactly where I want you to be, in the Spirit and in other ways, says the Lord. But know that this is a time for changing. This is a time for taking a fork in the road. And the Lord says, when you get to the doors that I have opened, Watch for the peace and watch for the anointing. And the Lord says, and you will have a freedom to walk through those doors that are going to bring an abundance into your life that will be powerful. And the Lord says, you will cry tears of joy, says the Spirit of God. Yes. The Lord just says, transition, transition, transition. Pay no attention to distractions during times of transition. But learn that as you draw near the purposes of God, the peace will increase or the anointing will increase. As you start to take a hedge toward a detour, you'll start to lose your peace. Now there's a loss of peace that comes by too much reasoning of the mind. But when you're going with your heart and you go, I want what God wants, that peace will be a sure guide and it will, it'll take you through the hard places and out into a broad place of a blessing in the days ahead. Definitely transition though. But Amen. the Lord's ordering your steps. Yes. Amen.